Yo, so every time I upload something, I get a lot of questions about modding, such as these and these. So if you're interested in making something like this, then stick around. Let's begin. So, first things first. To be able to mess around with mods, you need to know the file structure. There are three file types that we care about. XML files represent map structure and objects. Lua files are used to script behavior and Vox files which hold the 3D voxel models. Alright, first things first. Let's open the mod menu. Let's click on basic and let's make a local copy. Now, let's go and play this local copy. And we can see that it's just a basic map with a basic house in the middle of nowhere, and that's all that it is. If we go to this location on our PC, which is Documents, Tear Down Mods, we can see the copy that we just made. Here we can see three files. The info file is just information about the mod, like the name of the mod, the author, and what it does. It's not that important. The main XML file is what we're interested. So an XML file, as you can see, is just the structure of the mod and the scene and the objects in the scene. So for example, this object right here is the background and it's sunny. This object right here, this line, uh, is the position and size of the floor. This line is the position and the model for the house. We're going to check this out later because it's important. Uh, and this last line is the boundaries that are at each corner of the map. So you should probably play around with all of these values, like maybe changing these numbers or changing anything else and see how that affects the map. For example, if we change this sunny to be night and save it and then restart the map, we can see that it's indeed night it's not sunny anymore okay let's go back to the menu uh, and let's close this and then let's go here in main so here we can see a vox file which is the third type that I showed if we open it we can see that we have the house we can rotate it move it around change its dimensions maybe place or delete some voxels which are the 3d blocks maybe like this maybe like this we can change all of this right if we save this and go back to our game we can see that we have indeed changed the house the house model okay let's go back to this software by the way this software i'm going to leave a link in the description it's called magica voxel and it's used to edit and create all of these voxel models. It's very simple, it's just like paint but in 3D. This is a time lapse of the process of making the text in uh, Magica. I'm not going to show the whole thing because it took a bit too long, but if you want to learn how to use this software, then I'm sure many tutorials exist online. Now that we have the text done, and here we can check it out, Took me like half an hour to make. The next thing we need, now that we have this, is a plane to crash into it. Um, yeah, so let's try and recreate the opening sequence. By doing that, we can see exactly how each file behaves. So we need a plane. How do we get a plane? Well. Uh, there exist many mods done by other creative people and there exists a specific mod called Plane Crash Dynamics. In that mod we have a plane model which we can locate right here, Plane Vox. If we open it we can see it's indeed a plane. Cool! What next? Well, we copy this and we put it back into the folder 
right here next to basic.vox. So now our mod has the plane model in the file structure. What next? Well, we need to place the plane in the map. Well, how do we do that? Well, to do that, we go back and see how Plane Crash Dynamics places the plane. So if we go into main XML, we can see that it's a lot, a lot of objects. All of this is an object. Everything here is an object. But we don't need any of this except the plane. So where is the plane? Well, if we search for plane, then we find a group which with the name planes. And in it, we have the body of the plane. So if we copy all of this, then we have the structure for the plane. We can now go back to our mod right here and open that XML file that we had before. So here, if we place the plane, let's say right here, the thing that we just copied, the body for the plane, and save it, we should get the plane, except we just need to see if everything's in order. So this is ref referencing plane.vox, and we copied it a while ago. So everything should work. Maybe we can just remove this line right here because we don't need... No, wait, this, this isn't the house anymore. This is the text, so we do need this. Okay, that's cool. So save, go back to our mod, click play, and there we have the plane. It's right there. Okay. Now, what, what do we do? We need to adjust the plane's position. All right, how do we do that? Well, if we go back to the menu and click this button right here, edit, then we go into Teardown's editor. Now we can see that we can edit anything we want right here. So if we go to the plane body, we can move it around using these green axes. So let's place it exactly where we want to, which is right here in front of the text, right there. Looks good. If you want a tutorial on exactly how to work with the Teardown Editor, there's a good tutorial on YouTube if you just search for Teardown Editor Tutorial. I'm not going to go into detail in this one. So now that we have the plane in the correct position, and uh, let's just check it out, yep. It's right here. How do we get it to move forward and crash into the sign? Well, to do that, we need to use scripting. We do that by creating a new file in this file structure. Call it main.lua. The extension is very important. Open it, it's empty, and we have to fill it with functions that do the thing that we want to happen. So we have to go here, and I'll provide a link in the description. This is the official Teardown Scripting API. Here is every function that we can use to interact with the game world and game objects. The function that we need first is to find the plane itself. So we need the code to be able to interact with the object, and this is one way to find the object which we're going to be interacting with. So we simply call find body and then the name of the body, which is plain in our case. After we found it, we need to set its speed. So let's search for the function set body velocity. We simply call this function onto the plane with a specific velocity and that'll set it flying in a specific direction. The next thing we need is to know exactly when the plane is going to start flying. So for example, we might want to press a button or move our mouse or have some time pass and then for the plane to start flying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the input press function, 
which waits for a button on the keyboard to be pressed. And then it does things. So if input pressed, for example, key F on the keyboard, then do things. That's what we're gonna use. The last function we need is right here at the top, the tick function. And as explained here, it's called exactly once per frame. So this is how the game is gonna know that we are trying to do something uh, by waiting for our button press every frame. So let's go back to the Lua file and put all of this together to work. So we start off by writing the tick function and um, inside of it we need to write the input press function. So if the input F is pressed, then we want to find the plane and then we have to set its speed. So set body velocity of the plane and now we need a direction not just speed so let's go back in the game let's go back in the editor and let's see which direction we want so using these axes here in red green and blue let's see which axes we need we need this one and as we can see from the numbers that are updating it's going in the negative direction so only along the x-axis so we need a vector along the x-axis for example at negative 100 speed and along the other axis nothing okay that's our script it's going to wait for us to press f and once it does it's going to find the plane and set its velocity in the x direction okay cool let's see if it works so I'm going to go in front, press F on my keyboard, and nothing happens because we forgot to put in true right here, which is a specific thing for this function. Find body has to have true to look in the entire scene. Okay, simple mistake, that's fine. Let's go back and restart. Let's see from the front again. And now when we press F, it should work. And there we go. That's it, that's basically it. That's how you control an object through scripting and you can do so many more things, just look at the API. And that's how also you create your own object with Magicka Voxel, like I did with the text. That's also how you steal other people's objects from their mods. Well, I wouldn't call it stealing, but you know what I mean. And that's how you put all of it together. And that's basically what I do every time that I want something to happen. If it already doesn't exist as a mod, I try and make it myself. All right then, um, thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. And if you want to see more content, then please hit the subscribe button. Okay. Till next time.